Karibuni sana Taita Taveta County. It's a big county in terms of size, but small in terms of population. I find myself championing health more. I don't know why, maybe because I'm a mother and I have done a lot of uh, medical camps in terms of uh, cancer screening, uh, orthopedic uh, surgery on children. I also championed sickle cell. We have amplified more on the communicable diseases like the HIV and AIDS, but we've not taken into consideration the NCDs. When you look at um, our county, uh, a rapid scan at the disease burden, we realize that uh, we are having a high number of reported cases for hypertension, diabetes, accidents, um, and we are noticing also a high number of patients presenting with cancers, especially cervical cancer. We currently are um, deliberately trying to focus on also looking at cancers affecting males. In the last couple of years, the upsides, the numbers, when we look at our, our specialist clinics, uh, diabetics, uh, hypertension, uh, cancers as well, we've, been, uh, we've, we've seen the numbers nearly double in the last two, three years. Currently, nearly every day we'll, we'll deal with over 100 cases, say, of either diabetic, either hypertension. And these are outpatients. Of course, in patients we have those who have complicate, uh, complications coming from the same. Majority of the disease burden in children as we speak, majorly they are communicable diseases. We are still having a lot of challenges and a bigger disease burden in communicable disease. But we have seen a trend as these children grow. We, 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 we are starting to see an upsurge of non-communicable disease. Haya magonjwa kutambulika kwa mwenye aliyathirika kwanza ni changamoto kwa sababu jamii haina ufahamu nayo na cha pili jamii ikipata ufahamu inakosa kutafutisha udhaifu wa mgonjwa na gonjwa hili letu kubwa ambalo ni lazina. Sasa inakuwa kwamba mtu anakuwa na haiba ya uoga wa kulitoa hadharani. The whole thing about non-communicable diseases is when do you get in touch with the, with the, with the patient? If it's early stages, the management becomes easier. When it is in late cases, it's too expensive and um, a, bit, a bit a problem even to us today. People do not know what... what uh especially the NCDs, they, 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 are, they need to be made aware of what is happening. Uh, for example, sickle cell. People may think there's a lot of witchcraft going on when blood just, you just lose blood. Taking at the previous statistics which have been done, there is one prevalence study which was done long time ago, that was 1950s. It showed out of 110 children, 40 had sickle cell anemia or sickle cell disease itself. So Taita Taveta, especially Taveta part, sickle cell is, is a big problem. I did not know what NCDs were until I think about two years ago. I work mostly around sickle cell disease in the community area, in the very marginalized, what I call the last mile, and uh, that is where I'm passionate about. Nimekuja kugundua 2014. Ndio nikajijua kwamba niko na huu ugonjwa. Baada kutatizika sana kwenda hospitali kadha wa kadha. Sickle cell nimeanza nikiwa mtoto. Paka saima ile nimefikia kuna mke na watoto watatu lakini kati ya watoto watatu huyu ndio nilimwona ametokea na hizo shida mtoto wangu nilipomzaa sikufahamu kama yuko na huu ugonjwa but ilipofika miezi mitatu alianza kuumwa mara kwa mara nimekuwa na issue ya sickle cell 
nimejifahamu kiwa mtu mzima tu hivi. Bati wakati nilipokuwa shule nilikuwa nataibika sana. Mimi nilikuja tu kujipata nikiwa tu hivyo tu. Yaani si muda mrefu lakini nimeshawahi kulazwa around safari nne hivi tano. Nilikuwa ni mwaka 2002 ndio ndio mtoto alipokuwa ana huu ugonjwa sasa nilipompeleka hospitali ikawa tumelazwa akaingezwa damu sijaelewa siko seli ni nini yani alifikia mahali hakui ame vi amezofika sasa jaribu kwenda naye amefikia umri wa kufikia ni kijana na kijana unajua mambo yake sasa ile matibabu ama zile ile hali ya kumweka ili awe active ikawa uwezo sasa kanipatia nika ukarudisha nyuma mahali pakubwa sana shida ya siku se tunaweza tukua tunaongea vizuri hapa na nikitoka tu nikifika pale barabarani basi hapo hapo nashikia hapo utakuta nitajikuta ni siwezi kutembea siwezi kusimama hata mzazi ama hao wenye niko nao naishi nao wanaza shangaa tu fulani ya cold ukifika pale unakuta tena daktari hayupo na kwenda kuamushwa akija sasa ile delay anaifanya mpaka uje upate usaidizi ulitoka huku umefika hospitali pengine saa tatu za usiku unakuja kupata unaanza matibabu kama saa tisa. we are struggling i would say with the space with the numbers of our doctors or other i would say human resource akishikika ukimpeleka pale hospitalini bila pesa shikwi na mtu na kilazwa pale lazima ugaramike. Mimi kwanza kwa upande wangu ilifikia mahali nikashindwa kabisa ngabaki nikiwaangalia sasa watoto watatu. Na Palod ni wanazotumia dawa moja ni shilingi 30. Tukija katika jimbo letu la Taita Taveta. Watu wengi sana hata nikizungumza sisi kama viongozi wa kisiasa bado hatujaangazia sana swala hili. For the community level coming from a household that had two older sisters with sickle cell. Unfortunately, my elder sister passed away because she contracted malaria and she was mismanaged. So I understood from a household perspective, from a person living and watching another person with sickle cell living through the experience, watching my parents interact with that person, watching them interact with me. I always say it is easier for you to feel pain than to watch someone else in pain. What we've been doing, uh, mostly feeding from the region around Taveta sub-county, where most cases are coming from, is trying to align our, our system with that. For example, when you look at our essential drug list, you may not find a lot of drugs uh, to treat sickle cell. Our clinicians have also not been well-oriented, being a very rare disease. We need a lot of resource allocation, both in terms of human and financial, for us to strengthen our database, to do more research, both in pediatrics and in adults. Upanuzi wa jambo ni kupitia tarakimu. Tukio tuna tarakimu za kutosha, tukijua ni watu laki moja tunawatibu, basi tutaweka kiwango cha kutosha laki moja. We need to do more in terms of screening. So advocacy for sickle cell still needs improvement but in general for all NCDs. When you go to the executive meetings, they always factor in when you talk about evidence. They'll factor you in when you talk about evidence. This is what we are facing. Look, this transformed to this economically. That, that's what makes sense to most of them. But if you tell them this is the disease, they won't understand what you're talking about. If we had a dedicated uh, um, health information management system for example that captures including the causes you know when you say hypertension secondary to what or, or primary to what and you know takes a bit more history at a click of a button it would help what we are thinking is one is to be able to have everybody come out to be screened so that we can be able to intervene in time. It's very sad that somebody just presents and within a few months, somebody already is uh, on their deathbed. And uh, I need to also appreciate um, the 
Africa Sickle Cell because um, through their um, proactivity, they were able to get um, a medical cover for 12 months through support of Isuzu Kenya for around 50 persons. The county government, of course, being able to bring in the medication, this special medication called sickle cell disease, you fight them always, they are on medication full time. So we need to get their regimen, their drug regimen together uh, to make sure that they are not forgotten. Because of the fact that um, our health committee at the county assembly is so very proactive, they, they have come up with a report which clearly is looking at how we can be able to strengthen uh, delivery of affordable health care, how we can be able to address issues of human resources for health, how we can be able to strengthen issues of um, health financing within the opportunities which are available. When we do the drugs, level one, level two, level three, there are drugs we don't allow in health centers and dispensaries. But in this targeted way, we shall be able to have medication for hypertension and diabetes going to the health centers because the doctors are going to run clinics there. We are identifying one of our facilities, I think uh, Rekeke or Dididao Health Center, where those who have sickle cell disease can be going for their medication there. Kile ambacho tunataka tukifanya cha msingi ni kuhakikisha tumerudi kwa small unit kutoka kwa referral hospital hii tuende kwa district hospital tuteremke kwa health center ambao tunahakikisha kwamba karibia kila ward ambao tuna ward 20 kuna vitengo maalum vya kuwahudumia hata kama tutakuwa na center moja ya kuwapima hao watu lakini huduma watakuwa wanazipata nyanjani kwa sababu asilimia kubwa yao ni wadhaifu wa kifedha kiuchumi na vile vile hata kinguvu ya kuweza kukimbizana kwa sababu kumbeba mtu ambaye ni mgonjwa wa diabetes kumtoa taveta mpaka avoi badala ya kwenda kumtibu na muongezea maradhi quite a substantive amount of money has been put in the in the in the health department but again it may not be enough so what we would ask is for more support to ensure that um, drugs are available like throughout the screening uh, machines and all are available in like every sub-county because the, the county government can also do so much. They're also constrained in terms of finances. We are all potentially patients. You could be sitting here and making rules and laws but no, you are potentially a patient and if you don't look at things futuristically, you will be the one to say, I wish I had made a different decision. For every system, there's a nucleus where everything starts. For every chemical reaction. So for me, it happens in the household. Like if there's no enabling environment, if there's no understanding of sickle cell or understanding of the issue or the disease between for the patient and for the family members, then there's no conducive environment for the patient to thrive in at the household.